This video will explain the procedure for replacing the rocket in the Comet Line Thrower 250. Before attempting to change the rocket, check the container recommended replacement date and inspect the unit for any signs of damage or wear. If the recommended replacement date has passed, or if there is any sign of damage, the device must not be used and a replacement obtained. When changing the rocket, it is recommended that you do this on a suitable flat surface with sufficient working space and, if possible, outside. These are the components of the line thrower. White top cover. Coiled line. Pull jack steel cables. Pull jack fixed to rocket. Rocket. Before starting the replacement procedure, it is extremely important that you first check the twist grip to make sure the security pin is in place and the safety seal is intact. The security pin is there to prevent accidental deployment and if the pin is missing or if the seal is broken, do not proceed with the rocket replacement. Remove the white top cover of the container by prising it off using the tab at the top with the finger hole. Remove the white polystyrene stopper that sits on top of the rocket and put it carefully to one side. You will need it when reassembling the line thrower. Warning! Under no circumstances should you remove the stopper from the middle of the coiled line. This may render the device unusable. Pull the rocket out of its shaft using the pull jack wires. Untie the line from the end of the rocket wire. Put the old rocket to one side to avoid mixing up the old and new. Tie the free end of the coiled line, marked with a label, to the wire of the new rocket using a bowline knot. Make sure it is tightly knotted. Put the new rocket into its shaft with the two side brackets of the pull jack facing into the device. The brackets must sit on the inner edge of the plastic guides towards the coiled line. If the rocket won't slide in easily, it may not exit the device properly, so adjust its position if necessary until it drops in under its own weight. Make sure the pull jack connecting wires are placed into the two slots in the shaft adjacent to the coiled line. Coil the plastic coated connecting wire loop onto the top of the coiled line. Then push the white polystyrene stopper firmly back on top of the new rocket as far as it will go. Make sure that the knot on the pull jack wire will not hinder the rocket when firing. The cover can now be snapped back on making sure it is the right way on and is secured all the way around. Attach a rocket date sticker to the allocated area on the line container to indicate when the rocket was changed. This saves the crew or surveyor having to remove the rocket to check its expiry date. Expired rockets should be disposed of correctly and never used in another unit for practice purposes.